Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Sum 8. This is a game that's going to be launching on Kickstarter sometime in February 2022. It goes without saying that everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. Prototype components do change on occasion due to manufacturing processes and so on. Um, but from what I'm told, this is very close to the finished product. Now, I apologize in advance. I have a black backdrop, and it just so happens that the discs in this game, which I'll sort of shine in the light here so you can see them, um, they sort of blend in with the background there. This game comes with these black discs that have four quadrants to them, and they serve as your play playground or your playing area, so to speak. And you can use all of them. You can use nine of them. The manual itself comes with some predetermined configurations that you can do. According to this, 16 uh, is like easy mode and 9 is hard mode and so on. But again, there are some other configurations in here that you can try. Now, um, this is not going to be a full-blown how to play and review. This is going to serve as a sort of like a visual proponent to my written preview that I'm currently writing. So it's not going to include everything, but I do want you to see what it looks like and what the components look and feel like, um, you know, in addition to reading what this game is about on my blog. So you're going to get a bunch of these discs, should you do support the game and end up getting the game yourself. You also get these pieces here. Um, there's a bunch of these white pieces, and they fit in like these little quadrant spaces on the board. They just sort of slide in like that, just right on top. Um, again, just to show you, because of the way this is... Uh, colored. We'll just do something like that. So you can see that they sort of just fit in these slots like so. So four per disc is what it comes out to be. And the way that this game is set up, players will determine what the play area will be like. Um, and then each player is going to get eight of these from this face down supply over here. And there's more in the bag. Um, I've already set up the board for demonstration purposes because this game is all about trying to place these in such a way to where you earn points. And typically, you're either going to earn one point, two points, or four points, or a combination of those things based on how you play. On your turn, you can do one of two things. You can play one tile from your hand onto the board um, adjacent to an already existing piece or you can move an existing piece so as long as it's not locked in. Um, and I'll get to that later. So um, how can you place in this game? Well, you can either match the number. So for example, this is a one and this is a one. I can slide this in like this and because these numbers match like in dominoes, it is possible to do that. This earns me one point. Okay, so as long as I match the number, it doesn't matter. Um, I could do something like this, and these two touch each other. These two do not, because there's no piece here to, to be adjacent to that. But these two pieces do. This would be worth one point and so on. That would earn you one point. Um, the other way you can earn points is if you get the sum to equal to a total of eight. So, for example, I would need to find maybe a three piece to put somewhere. Okay, I could do something like this. Okay, and this five and this three are next to each other, adjacent. They add up to, this five and this three add up to eight. That scores me two points. So that's another way to score points in this game. Um, closing an eight, which are two of these black discs. Um, this is almost an eight here, but it is not. What I would need is maybe something like this. I've got a five here and a four here, and I can fit this in like this. Um, and that works because this four matches this four, this four matches this four, and in fact, they add up to eight. So that would score me two points for this pairing, two points for this pairing. These fives match each other, and that gives me one point. The act of closing an eight like this is four points. So you want to try and close eights wherever possible in order to score a lot of points. If an eight does not exist, like this is considered locked now, if this were not the case, I could move a piece. Instead of placing a piece, I could opt to move an existing piece. So as long as it doesn't create any gaps anywhere, I could say move this over here and score a point for this pairing if I so chose. But it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me to do that. 
So, yeah, um, that in gist, uh, you know, that in summary is sum eight. Players will be taking turns placing these pieces, trying to score the most points. Whenever you do place a piece, um, you know, something like this, then you're going to pick up a new one from the array. And the game will end when one player can no longer, uh, well, when all players can't be placing anything anywhere. In that case, the game will end and whoever's the most points wins. Like in dominoes, you are penalized for the pips that are left in your hand at the end of the game. So you're trying to get rid of some of these high-valued ones, like there's a six here, there's a three here. And as you can see, um, just to show you a visual proponent, these are fairly thick. Um, so these are nicely weighted, I think. These are great. Um, again, the black backdrop here doesn't do any justice, but um, there are little notches here. You have to line up these notches in order to um, sort of make the board come together like so. Um, there are some variations listed in the rule book. For example, here's the scoring, by the way, but the um, there's a solo slash single player mode. You can also just remove these discs altogether and play um, without them, if you so choose. That's another variant listed in the one manual I was reading. So there you go. Like I said, this wasn't um, a full-blown review or, you know, a how-to-play video, but I wanted to give you a taste uh, visually as to what you're in for should you decide to pick up this game. And by the way, this cloth bag is really handy, uh, great for travel. So you can throw everything in here, no problem. There's even a little divider in here for the black discs. You know, there's black discs on one side and the, the white uh, pieces on the other side, really nice. Um, but yeah, very easy to travel. But hopefully this gives you a taste as to what you're in for. Again, the game will be seeking your support in February. There are links in the below description uh, for the Kickstarter campaign itself and my written preview. So please check this out. It's really cool. I like the idea. So if you're an avid dominoes player, but don't mind a little bit of math, um, if you can add up to eight or match numbers, then you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's what you're trying to do here. It's, it's kind of like a soup up version of dominoes and it's it's a real joy to play if you guys haven't already subscribe to me on twitch and youtube that way you can stay up to date with any new content i've been to publish this is vince thanks for watching and i will catch you guys next time